Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today is the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The theme for our prayer and reflection is Service and Sacrifice. I would like to share with you today an incident that took place during the Great American Revolution. A man in civilian clothes rode by a group of soldiers who were busy pulling out a horse car that was stuck in deep mud. Their officer was shouting instructions and making no attempt to help them. The stranger who witnessed the scene asked the officer why he was not helping. With great anger and dignity, the officer replied, Sir, I am a corporal. The stranger dismounted from his horse and began to help the exhausted soldiers. When the job was completed, he turned to the corporal and said, Mr. Corporal, next time when you have a job like this and don't have enough men to do it, inform your commander in chief and I will come and help you. It was too late for the proud corporal to recognize General George Washington, the first president of the United States. General George Washington understood that those who aspired to greatness or rank first among others must serve and sacrifice for all and exercise servant leadership. Where did he get such leadership skills? Most likely he learned it from the Bible where Jesus says, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Today's scripture reading describes leadership as an act of service and sacrifice for others and offer Jesus as the best example and model. The first reading taken from the book of prophet Isaiah 53, 10 and 11 tells how the promise from Messiah will save mankind by dying in atonement for our sins. Jesus has done this out of love for us by becoming the suffering servant crucified as an offering for sin, interceding for us and taking our punishment on himself. The second reading taken from the letter to the Hebrews 4, 14, and 6, 14 to 16 tells us that as God and man, mediator and high priest, Jesus has offered a fitting service and sacrifice to God to liberate us from the enslavement to sin. Our Gospel today from Mark 10, 35 to 45 is another classic expression of human desires and emotions. Jesus predicted three times about his fast approaching passion, suffering, death and resurrection. Still these disciples did not understand him and his mission. They also thought with the contemporary Jewish belief that the Messiah will be a political king, sitting on David's throne and ruling over a reunited Israel. Therefore, these two brothers wanted to sit at his right and left when he is in his glory. According to Middle Eastern custom, the seats on the right and left side of the horse were the places of honor granted to the host's closest friends and associates or to those whom the host wished to recognize. The request of James and John reveals their lack of understanding of true leadership according to Jesus. They are looking for position of power and prestige. They think that the leadership comes from where one sits rather than from 
how one serves. Jesus gives them a sharp rebuke saying, you do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? Or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They answer the question with a very quick, we can. Though they did not realize what it meant to be. The rest of the disciples were indignant with these two brothers. But later on, with their very life, they did what they said. James was beheaded by King Herod Agrippa, referred in Acts 12.2, and John suffered deeply in exile the pain of persecution of Christian brothers and sisters. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, at times we come across these types of James and Johns in our daily lives as well. They could be sometimes our close associate friends, co-workers, or even family members whom we expect that they will understand our pain, suffering, stress, hardships, and struggles that are going on within us and around us. In spite of our pain and suffering, their priorities can be their personal ambition, benefits, advantages, and even fulfillment. The realization of this truth can be painful, disappointing, and distressing. However, the other side of this pain is the self-realization that it is not my case alone, but that of several other people in the world today, even that of Jesus. This is part of the process of human life here on earth. It also makes us to understand that Christian life is a life of loving service and sacrifice for others. As Christians, we are called to do it joyfully and happily with a smile on our face. We are called to drink every day the same cup of Jesus in our daily life situations in some manner or fashion which will make us partakers of Jesus' life. The world needs today leaders who can think more of others than of themselves who are willing to serve and give life as a sacrifice for others. Have a blessed weekend and may God bless us all. Stay tuned for the next weekend.